Welcome back everyone, I am Psycho Emerald. Today I'm doing another Star Wars action figure review, and today I have a figure that I ordered used off of eBay, so it is a loose figure inside of this box here. So we're going to be doing an unboxing as well, and it is a Sith Trooper from the Vintage Collection. This is my first Vintage Collection figure I've ever got. I have mostly 3175 inch figures, but I haven't gotten any Vintage Collection yet. So yeah, let's get into opening this up. So we got to cut that. So yeah, I ordered this off eBay for $15, and I was excited because I really wanted the Sith Trooper. Oop, gotta be in here. Nice purple bag. Purple's my favorite color, so that's nice. Toss the box aside. Um, uh, set the trusty unboxing knife aside. Unless we might need it for this. No, I don't think we will. So let's get this open. Nice little purple bubble wrap package. I like that. So yeah, got a really good deal on this, getting it used, because I know most vintage collection uh, collectors like to have their figures carded, but I'm not really a vintage collection collector, I'm just a act Star Wars action figure collector, so I don't really uh, worry about keep keeping them carded because I'm a, a loose collector. So here he is. Oh man, he looks great. He looks great. I'm so excited to have this figure. Oh, he feels great too. Oh, and when I looked at pictures of him online... He didn't have the, uh, if you see there, like, in the middle of the helmet, you can see how he has the line down the middle, like, kind of in paying homage to the Clone Trooper helmets. He didn't have that, but I'm glad he does, because I was thinking I was going to have to customize the helmet a little bit. But yeah, so there's the Sith Trooper himself. Looks like he's got an antenna or something in here. Very nice of the uh, seller to package him very well. Nice job. Yeah, anyway... Figure that I was really excited about, really glad he got here. So here's one of his uh, weapons, the just like normal blaster rifle. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus. Give me a sec. So yeah, here's just the standard like short blaster rifle that the Sith troopers have. Nice detailing on there. They're black with red accents. Really like that. And then over here we've got the heavy blaster, which is really cool. It's basically just the first order heavy blaster that we see like in Force Awakens when the trooper is like shooting at uh, Poe's X-wing. But it has red accents instead of white accents on it. So that's cool as well. And then we've got an antenna here, it looks like. I don't know what this does, but I guess we'll figure that out in a sec. So now let's look at the figure and a little bit of the articulation. Alright, so here's the figure, a little bit of the articulation. I know, like, when I watch figure reviews, I really don't care that much about the articulation. I mean, but I know a lot of people do, so... <laughs> I just get kind of bored when the reviewer is listing off the articulation. But basically got the elbows, and bend that um, shoulder goes up it's basically just fully articulated just like a black series figure and you know the rest of the vintage collection figures head can swivel and tilt all around pretty awesome and then we've got the knee like that foot can move as well and waist swivel and stuff there so yeah I think that's pretty much all the articulation I usually miss something when I'm doing my reviews of the articulation I usually miss something but I think I got it all this time. So now let's uh, put some of the weapons in his hand and maybe pose him a little bit and we'll see how the weapons look. So there's the standard blaster rifle in his hands. It looks pretty cool. I like that. Took me a little while to pose him though. It was a little hard to get it into this hand. And this is probably the most natural looking pose I could get out of him. I bet I could get a better one if I you know, tried a little harder, but that's what we've got for now. And now let's move on to the heavy blaster. Okay, so here's the Sith Trooper holding the Heavy Blaster. I couldn't get him to hold it with both hands. I'm thinking maybe the antenna thing kind of plays into that. I think it might be something you attach onto this, because I noticed there's like a little peg hole there. So I might try that. Uh, but yeah, here he is holding both the blasters, which looks kind of cool. But yeah, let's actually try to do the antenna thing. That took me a while, but I got it into this pose. So he's, I don't know, kind of like side-arming it. I don't know if that's what you would call it, but... Yeah, that's that's how you can make him hold it. That's how the only way I could get him to hold it. I'll have to play around with it a little bit more. But yeah, let's get him down to the, uh, you know, down over there, so I can give you guys a closer look at this figure. So yeah, uh, finishing touches on this review. I really like this figure. It looks really great. Uh, Sith Troopers are one of my favorite like trooper designs out of all of them. 
and they're one of the few things I liked about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Um, but yeah, I really like this figure. Very, very accurate rep representation of the uh, Sith Troopers from the movie. And yeah, looks just as good, if not better, than the uh, six inch black series figure. I think this really looks great. I'm excited to put him on display. Maybe take a couple photos with him. I've been watching some Star Wars action figure photography videos, and it's something that I might want to try. So, yeah, really great figure. I highly recommend it to any Star Wars collector that you know collects the vintage collection or collects any Star Wars figures and likes the Sith Troopers. I highly recommend this figure. It's very, very good. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys uh, like Star Wars action figure reviews, that's mostly what I do on my channel. Uh, but I just do toy reviews in general, whatever I feel like reviewing. And um, yeah, so if that's the kind of content you like, consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, uh, consider leaving a like. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.